Hey Scorpios! <laughs> so I just started a video and then my phone decided to go completely dead. So, um, <laughs> part duh, or take two. <laughs> Alright, so Scorpio, this is your weekly reading for August 2nd through August 9th. I'm doing an abundance spread for you guys. Um, because that, that's pretty general, it can be an abundance for anything. So I feel like you've really got you're showing up with your relationship with abundance is five of wands here. Um, so are you guys feeling a bit contentious when it comes to working with the universe <laughs> to manifest what you want? Um, I feel like some of you are, have that mindset where it's like, if I'm not fighting tooth and nail for something, then I'm never going to get it. Um, and I feel like that probably comes from some childhood experiences um, or watching like watching your parents or I feel I, yeah I just feel like there's a history to that feeling that you have why you feel like you have to kind of carry that into your own adulthood but I feel like it's kind of contradictory to um, manifesting what you actually want um, so how to get yourself into alignment is the world here so I feel like ending this pattern of feeling like you have to fight for everything sure hard work is part of it but if you're feeling like you have to fight fight for something there's a kind of a lower vibe lower energy a negative energy around that right so if we want to manifest something we need to raise our energy, raise our vibration, um, and this like contentious feeling, it's almost like, um, kind of like a desperation to make something happen. Um, it brings your vibe down. So, you know, it's great to be passionate about something and it's great to have a hard work ethic. Um, but not bringing that from almost a desperate place, if that makes sense for you guys. Um, so ending that kind of a cycle, that thought pattern, that's going to help you guys out a lot. So what energy do you need to add or integrate um, that you're currently missing is King of Pentacles. So King of Pentacles is just very solid, right? Like, he's obviously very prosperous, but I don't think he did it by force, by control, by um, desperation. He did his due diligence he worked hard he is a strategic planner but he wasn't really fighting with the universe to make it happen okay so current blessings that you need to be more grateful for um you have the empress here so scorpio i feel like you've already built a lot by yourself and you need to really pat yourself on the back and just be grateful for what you currently have. You have embracing here as well. So just embracing what you already have right here, right now, and not focusing on what you're missing, what you're lacking, okay? And I think that you also, you have a wisdom card here. And I think that really lines up with wisdom. And I feel like it's part of also your king of pentacles as well. Um, just being wise enough to recognize the beautiful things that are already in your life um, and not only focusing on the things that are missing. So what are you attracting by shifting your energy? You're attracting an end to that cycle. So this looks like a really scary card, the Ten of Swords, but it's not. It's the end of a cycle. It's the end of kind of working against yourself to make things happen. Um, so that's a really good thing. You also have your overarching energy for this reading was the Two of Cups. So I feel like you have a union coming in, like you could work with someone else to build for your future. Um, and I feel like this is a huge relationship. So I don't know, I'm, I think some of you already are in this relationship and maybe don't recognize that this person is as, as important as they are. Um, and I feel like for some others of you, really um, ending this contentious cycle within yourself I feel like that's gonna bring in that partnership okay so you've got past life relationship it's a very important person in true love 
So I feel like you've got a, like a twin flame situation coming up or are already in one, but you're, you're not really recognizing it yet. Um, so this is your wake up call. If you're in that relationship, this is your wake up call. <laughs> All right, guys. So good luck this week, Scorpio, and I will see you next week.